Hi, and welcome to another Miss Alley Cat DIY video. Today I'm going to show you how I make this elf decor piece for Christmas. I think it's absolutely adorable. I had so much fun making this, and I really hope you stay tuned. So for this project, you will need a photo frame. I got mine from the Dollar Tree, and I picked out 8x10. However, you could use a different size if you'd like. I just felt that it would fit my project well to get 8x10, but any will do. Some of these, um, it's an ornament, little elf legs from the Dollar Tree. Also, this um, headband, it's an elf headband from the Dollar Tree some red material. I got this at Michael's. It's a red velvet and it's so pretty. You can also use this material from the Dollar Tree. It's actually a table you runner. You need some ribbon. I'm using this ribbon that I got from Costco last year. Um, it ob obviously doesn't have to be from Costco. This is just what I have on hand. I liked that this um, ribbon is both red and green. And um, it's the right green for an elf DIY. But you can get all kinds of ribbon, especially right now. There's all kinds of Christmas ribbon at Dollar Tree. So definitely check out Dollar Tree's um, ribbon. You will also need some green felt. I got this at Michael's for like 50 or 60 cents. Some darker felt from Michael's. That's where I got mine. You can get your felt wherever you'd like, but it was pretty cheap there. Um, you can see the comparison difference in colors. The darker green is optional, but as you will see, I think it adds a little something extra to the project. Okay, taking our frame, I'm actually, oops, try not to break it. <laughs> I'm going to be taking out the glass. I'm just lifting up these little metal pieces, not a whole lot because you don't want to break them, but enough to get out the cardboard here. There go, and this piece of cardboard, or eh, paper, this piece of paper. And then I'm going to be taking out this little border, which is actually pretty cool. Set that aside. And I'm going to remove the glass carefully, removing the glass and setting that aside. Alright, so I'm going to take this piece of paper that was inside of our frame. I was going to use the glass, but I figured this was easier. And I'm just going to cut out 8 by 10. Um, just to make it like safe on myself, I'm going to give myself a little bit of like a tiny border around. Um, the paper just in case because <laughs> I don't want to mess it up so I'm just going to take a marker and mark on both sides like right here I'm gonna mark it right here where I need to cut and I'm gonna mark it on the other side where I need to cut And as you can see, I am doing this on the opposite side. I'm doing it on the underneath of the fabric. And now I'm gonna cut that shape out. So as you probably can see, uh, my cutting skills are not the greatest. But I don't think you're gonna be able to tell. I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece of fabric to my piece of glass. So I'm just taking a glue stick and I'm going to go ahead and put glue evenly on the glass over the whole entire thing. You could use hot glue but I don't want any bumbles um, and it doesn't need to be like super secure because we're also going to put it back in the frame. I just want it to stick to my glass. Probably weigh enough glue. Take my piece of fabric. And I have to stretch it out a little bit just because my cutting skills not so great. Um, 
but I think it's gonna work. Like I said, I'm just smoothing it out. Don't worry if there's some bumps. This fabric is kind of, isn't it? it's not perfect. It's velvety, it's so pretty. And you're not gonna get it perfectly smooth. All right, I'm not even gonna worry about trimming off the excess edges because we're gonna put this back in the frame. You might wanna let this dry for a little bit. I'm a little impatient, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put it in my frame. Just for like some added stability, I'm gonna go ahead and put those other pieces back in here, like um, a piece of cardboard and this little frame, just so that it's thick enough in there, and that these little um, things have something to <laughs> to grasp onto. Fold all those little pieces back over. Okay, and turn it over. Now I got my velvet. It's so pretty, you guys. So pretty. And we're not even done yet. Now taking some ribbon, I'm going to cut a piece that is big enough that I can glue it on the back side of my frame, going this way. I'm going um, the long ways. I'm going to be using the green color just because I think that looks pretty next to the red. And then I'll be making a bow. Let's go ahead and this. do this. We're just going to be gluing the ribbon to the back so you don't have to worry about tying it. I guess you could do that, but I'm not going to do that. Just enough to, to glue it to the other side. There's one for this way. I'll just set it there for like reference. And then I'm gonna do another one. Let's figure out where you want it, center it, and go ahead and flip your frame. Um, I won't be using this um, little hook thing for the frame. I'll be using this one up here and that's something to pay attention to as well. You want this part that has this little um, hanging device <laughs> at the top of your frame. So just taking some hot glue I'm just gonna put a little dab there and carefully put down my ribbon and then I want it pretty taut. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So if you can find a frame that has a stand, that is a good thing too because that would be really cool. I didn't realize this one didn't have a stand, to be honest, but that's all right, because I'll probably end up hanging it on the wall anyway. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing this way. <laughs> now I don't want to cover up this little hook because like I said, that's gonna be our top and um, I need to be able to use that. So just keep that in mind. Another dab of hot. There is the first part. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next part. All right, so our next step is to take this um, hat basically off of the headband. All right, so I'm going to have to um, 
cut this red um, here closer to the headband not on the side that has our hat not on the side not on any of this it's going to affect um, what you're going to see um, when we glue it to um, the package I'm just kind of pushing it inside out so that I can see next to um, the frame a little more So I'm going to go ahead and cut as close to the headband as possible without affecting the hat um, so that you can't tell when we glue it to um, our, our gift. It seems to be working. Should come off fairly easy. I see a couple spots that I missed that I have to cut. And actually, if you ever want to make a headband, that's pretty nice because they don't normally come that thick, that you know, wide. Yay, we were able to cut off the hat. And you're not even going to be able to tell. So now I'm going to bring back my frame, my package. And um, I want to glue this little hat on the back, basically. So it looks like he's kind of hiding. He's trying to hide. <laughs> Unsuccessfully, but he's trying to hide. So making sure that I'm putting this little elf on the top, I'm flipping over the package, the frame, whatever you want to call it, and I'm also flipping over my elf so that he's on the right place, and I'm going to glue him to the frame. Just a light little bead of hot glue, and I'm going to quickly put it down. Alright, like I said, quickly putting that down, kind of pulling it tight too so that um, it glues properly, if that makes sense. And then just so that this isn't like open, I am going to put some glue here, and the inside, I don't know if you can tell, but um, the hat is kind of like open. So now I'm putting some glue on the inside, basically in the same spot that we just did on the frame, but only um, in the inside of the hat. And I'm going to close it up. Press it all down. Alright, I'm going to flip it over and see how it looks. It's looking pretty cute. Yeah, it's looking very cute. Now if you did have a frame that had a stand, you would need to put something on the back here to keep the hat from flopping over. Um, I think you could even probably like put a piece of cardboard. Obviously it wouldn't look that great on the other side though, so keep that in mind um, so that it would stay in place. For now I'm going to move on to the next part of this DIY. So taking my elf legs, I'm just figuring out where I want to position them and now that I've figured that out I'm going to flip over the whole thing and I'm just going to glue them. And I like that they kind of just hang and kind of go wherever. That's just me, but if you wanted to like cut these in half and then glue them on separately, you totally could, but I don't think that's necessary. Now I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to glue 
down the ornament. I'm actually going to take a little piece of um, paper or cardboard, um, just a little square, put some hot glue on that. And then I'm going to put that over my ornaments string here just for some added holding power. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take some green felt. I got this at Michael's for like 50 or 60 cents. It was pretty cheap. And I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple mittens for his hands. So I just kind of freehanded the shape of a mitten and if you want to do this go ahead and do two hands obviously. Um, I'm sure that online you could find all kinds of like stencils or just like pictures of mittens and then you could just trace over that um, after you print it. But I thought I'd just freehand it. Um, so yeah, you can freehand it or you can Google pictures of mittens. So now all I'm doing is taking my first mitten shape and cutting out another mitten so that I have two mittens for both of my elves' hands. Also all I'm doing is making cuffs for the gloves and also making it a little bit longer because I need it to be able to wrap around um, the frame and you know and for you not to be able to see that I did that. So I'm just going to take some hot glue and put it on the end of both of my mittens and add my little extendor. Just for added fun, I'm going to take my black little marker, it's not permanent or anything, and I'm just going to make some stitches all the way around the, all of the mitten. Just by drawing some little lines. Alrighty, so once you are finished, um, with your uh, stitches, which is optional by the way, we are going to go ahead and glue on our little gloves to both sides of the frame so it looks like our little elf is holding it. You could like put them different places. So it's of course up to you where you want to glue your gloves. I think I want one a little bit higher and one a little bit lower. I was going to put it right over the ribbon, but I think the green kind of gets lost in the ribbon. It's still cute, especially in person, but I think I'm going to put him like kind of kind of slanted like he's 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 holding it, but he's also running. <laughs> I don't know. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue them. I think I'm going to glue them to the front first so that they're in the right spot. So now all I did was take some more of my ribbon and I tied it into a bow and now I'm going to just glue this to the center of the package with some hot glue once again. <laughs> And then we are finished. 
So I will go ahead and hang this up and show you guys what the finished product looks like. I think it's adorable. It's so cute. It looks like he's running off with the package. All right. So here is the finished product. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely love how the elf looks like he's running away with a gift, trying to hide behind it. Um, I do want to say I know that the little elf hat is kind of tilted. Once again, you could put a piece of cardboard behind the hat to hold it up or even put the cardboard inside of the hat before you glue it sealed and then glue it to the back of the frame so that it's stiff and it doesn't tilt down. However, I think that it adds some character and it makes it look like he really is running away with the gift. I hope you have a wonderfully perfect day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to pounce on that like button and hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Miss Alley Cat DIY signing off.